and what is good in your hood, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Diverse Comics and Pop. And uh, before we get started, I need you to click that like button, smash on that subscribe. And click that bell for notifications every time I go live or post up a new video so you will get it. But please, please, for the love of, of the love of the love of YouTube, press the like button because the like button helps. It helps a brother out. <laughs> it helps the channel grow. It helps people see the video. And also... The subscribe helps the channel really grow. We are all over hunt for a thousand subscribers, and we're getting there. Cause now we're almost at 600 subscribers, and I'm loving every bit of it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get to today's uh, episode, and that's me drawing, well, inking this. Uh, Werewolf by Night, but you know what? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna stop calling it Werewolf by Night. I think I'm just gonna make this my own creation, man. I think I'm just gonna make this my own creation. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Every time I keep looking at this, it's just too good to just say, oh, this is a Marvel character. I really do want to make this my own character. All I gotta do is give him some type of different type of feature, and it, it, he'll be mine, you know, and not Marvel's. Um, I just, you know, it's eating me up. It's eating me up to. To uh, say this is a Marvel character, you know, but this is the way. This the continue a part, uh, part one that that did of this. I don't know if you guys seen it, but if you haven't, I will leave the uh, description of the video. On, uh, on, I mean, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description of this one, so you can see the first part. If you didn't see it, it's on here though. It's on. All you gotta do is look up uh, Werewolf. Uh, uh, stage one, which is showing me, uh, you know, showing you the breakdown how I did this. Um, but you know, I can leave the link. I think I can I leave that link um, in the description from this so you can look at part one. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's even yet to, to make this a Marvel character. It really is. It's just even me up. So, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be inking this with the with the uh, quill pen right here. I call it a dip pen. I don't know why. That's just me. I'm old, old fashioned. But uh, it's a quill pen. I just recently got this in mail because it came in this little package right here. As you can see. And you know, I'll be using some Higgins. Um, I got some pens and stuff for my trade. So let me show you guys so you guys can see. These are my light, my pen line. There's all type of stuff in here. But I got brushes in here also. You know, if I need need it, but um, yeah. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. You're gonna be seeing, I'm showing you the inking, uh, inking some of this werewolf uh, pin up I did. And, um, start my little segment off. I'll be moving this around here and there. Hmm. Uh, it's the holidays now. And it seems like everything's just going by so fast. Felt like Christmas would take forever to come. You know, like it was like, man, I can't wait for Christmas to come. But now, older I'm now, the older I got now, it's like Christmas just came, just come every day now. It comes fast and it leaves quick. You know what I mean? Anybody else feel like that? Like, it's like the holidays is going so fast. I can't keep up no more. It's like. Thanksgiving ends quick. It's like it just comes so fast. You know, 
freaking Christmas music. <laughs> you know, I used to work retail, a lot of retail. I call it retail hell because it was, it was hell. It was hell. Man, and you might, what is retail hell, Remy? What's retail hell? You know, if you work, if you work, if you work at Sam's Club, or you work, you work at Walmart. Retail store, I don't care what it is. It's, you know, you know that come how them stores are. You know those stores are. It's hectic, man. It's, it's, a, it's a hectic, hostile. It's a hectic, hostile environment. And I'm talking every holiday. It gets, it, it just, it's a mess. You dealing with hostile people. Dealing with different personalities of, of the public. Uh, and these people that you deal with on the basics, I mean, it's a handful, man. It's, it's such a handful because you're dealing with all these different personalities. So many people are just nuts. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to say, but, you know, talk down on the one, but some of people are nuts, man. I mean, like, it's like, you, you'd be surprised, like, do you, I, you know, they will actually wake up out of bed just to screw up your day. <laughs> like, I'm not lying to you guys. You guys know this. For you that work retail, you know that Dealing with the, the public, you know how to get. Man. You know how to get. The ones who deal with people on daily basis work these jobs like I did. You know dealing with the public was hell. Especially, especially that member or, or customer that you get. And I was a cashier, and I kept trying to get off that damn line, man. And I, cause I was only male. They would not let me go. They would not let me go. I was trying to get. I was trying to get into the meat department. I had friends like, "Yo, oh, man, you need to come to the meat department." And I was trying my best to get to that damn meat department. And they would not let me go. So I was only male, you know, big guy, big guy in the front line. I felt sorry for the women though, because you know they had to like. Pick that shit up. It was like heavy shit. And it was because Sam's Club had like this policy that stuff had to come out the cart. They wouldn't, they, because they feel more everybody still and all that crazy shit. You know how that go, man. We did And, uh, and they were just so brutal, man. It was, uh, man, it, it yeah, people want to argue with you. Why I got to take it out the car? I ain't stealing nothing. You know, you just you was getting these types. You was getting these types of people. And you, you know, you being, you being professional about it, man. Look, I'm just doing my job. They tell me to do this. I'm just doing what they tell me to do. I'm not trying to say you doing anything. And it was just, it was just, it, man. It was hell. It was just. Dealing with that, it was just nuts. I look back on that. This situation stuff I used to go through with that. It was it was it was, it was nuts, but I, I knew how to handle it. Some people didn't know how to handle it. They they get into it with them. Now let me get wrong, I got to with some people in, in my days in retail. I really got I got to with some people, man. I I never forgot I got to with a it was a mother, it was a, a mother and son. And uh, this was doing, it was cold. It was, man, it was cold. People was buying up the water. And uh, it was a sale back there, but it expired. And of course, you know, sale team screwing up, not doing their job. Uh, there was some water back there that was uh, on sale, but the sale ended. And the lady and her son ended up getting it because they figured, you know, Sale, but they, you know, some, of them, you know, some of them they read that shit, and they know that the shit is over. But you know, of course, you know, they know they're gonna figure. Well, customers are always right. We're gonna get it anyway. They're gonna give it to us, you know. 
So, I get up in my line. And I was like, oh man, this this the cell is over with, man. When I say that, all hell broke loose. Oh, the hell it ain't. Oh, the hell it ain't. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, you know, me being me, I said, ma'am. I can get a manager over here for you, but it's not letting me make you, it's not making me uh, the, the register, you know, they, they, you know, cash register, you know, they had them high tech ones. Once that stuff was, you know, programmed a machine, it don't allow you to, uh, it don't allow you to do that. It don't allow you, you can't override it unless, you know, they give you, a, you know, like some type of a manager override. And, uh, and, uh, so the son got to talking crazy to me, man. The mother got to talking crazy to me. Anyway, and so I said, "Look, man, look. Now I'm respecting y'all. I didn't, I didn't, you, I you know, I didn't cuss at you guys or nothing. I said I couldn't uh, give you for this price because the sale is really over. I could get a manager over here for you, see what what they can do. But instead of that, they wanted to cuss me out, man, and talk crazy." You know, I wasn't finna have that disrespect, man. I just wasn't. I wasn't going. I wasn't about to have the disrespect back. And I told them, you know what? With your nasty attitude and the way how you treat people, I'm not ringing up a goddamn thing for you. <laughs> I so did. I sure the hell did. And um, because it was just uncomfortable for how they was acting, showing sure, I act like a fool. I won't go. I won't go get them. I won't. I won't, I won't go stoop to. Them. I won't go uh, bow down to them, man. I just wasn't gonna do it. You got some of those customers who know they ain't the wrong. They just think they could just treat you any type of way. They think they think they could talk to you any type of way. They think because your job that you uh, they could talk crazy to you. I had one. Um, I had one say, "I get you fired from this little job you got." I mean, you'll be surprised how they talk to people. These are grown adults now. These are grown. These are people. This this somebody's grandmother. This is somebody's mother, father. You know, these are those. You wonder why some why some of these kids are like this. I look at the parents. You know, I look at the parents. Cause it's how they act. Yeah, I do. I do. It's doing hot as shit, man. Retail. I look back at that stuff, like, man. I can't believe I must have had that, but I did. And, and it also taught me. Not only did it teach me, it it, it, um, it also taught me how to deal with people in public, professional wise. That's why I took every job I had. I learned from it. I learned. I kept. I added that to uh, what I do today. And I've learned how to talk to people, how to deal with people, a certain manner. <clears throat> so now, when I when I know I deal with a hostile person, what I do is I learn how to talk to them. Or well, I know how to escalate. I know how to 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 escalate the situation better. By saying you know, uh, handling a better professional manner. This is what I tell certain uh, any aspiring artists. So you gotta learn how to talk, talk when you're in public because you're gonna deal with some crazy people, man. You're gonna you're gonna deal with crazy people. You know, there's no there's no way to get around that. There's no way to get around that. Is right here. I have become very good at this dip, uh, this do uh, ink with my quill pen. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. I used to be scared to do this. I used to always want to ink with a line pens, but I wanted to get my my art, my art, my art, my art ability hands wet by using a quill pen. And I started that when I was, uh, I say, uh, around. Uh, around 20 in my 20s 
is when I wanted to start doing um, inking with this quill pen. And um, I learned from that. Trust me, ink spider and everything everywhere. But I learned. I learned. I had to learn, man. I had to learn because I wanted to be a certain different type of artist. I wanted to learn how to do with the quill pen. I wanted to learn how to uh, do fine line and all that. I'm still learning. I said I'm the best, but I, I, I learned it to the best of my art ability. And you know, um, it's, a, it's like I said, it's, it's a process, man. It's a process we all learn as artists, especially when you want to get better at this. See, um, just going with the lines, man. Going with the flow of this. Um, I have learned to uh, take my time doing it because usually when I'm when I was you know started out doing it, I used to be you know it was just real sloppy. Because um, I was you know I was so excited doing it, but now I learned it's it's best to take your time and learn. So like. Still, I'm still like I struggle with my line weights. I say I'm not the best when it comes to my line weights, but I'm still learning how to ink using line weights. I will play some Christmas music, but I want to get a, uh, <laughs> a strike. Holidays is upon us. I mean, man, it's, it's here so quick, man. Uh, how was you guys Thanksgiving? Did you guys have a great Thanksgiving? Hope everybody had one, a great one. Man, this was great, you know. Did it with my family. Well, not my whole entire family. My brother and sister, they, uh, Flights and stuff was just too high. It was just, it was just too high, man. And um, fortunately, we didn't have that big family uh, holiday that we usually do. But you know, we had to understand like, hey, look, it just it was just uh, it, was, it was just the takes it was just too high. Yeah, you know, they, you don't want to stress people out like that. You know, especially. Well, you know, uh, especially when you know it's just it, 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 it's really high. We didn't, I mean, didn't want to make that a hardship on my brother, my brother, and my sister. You know, the other days we could see each other, and plus we, you know, we 
mm, we still we uh yeah, face chatting and stuff on the phone. Well, technology is awesome. You can be able to do that. We still able to chat. Had a good time. We still had a good time, even though, uh, even though we didn't, it wasn't physically. But uh, I was keeping the water, keep this, keep, keep this clean. But it, it was still a, it was still a great holiday experience because we was able to talk to each other uh, virtually. through the technology of the phone and Zoom and you know uh, so <clears throat> was it it was it wasn't a it was a it was a different experience but uh we still was able to talk and um we were still able to have fun and over the phone and I was still able to see my nieces and nephews um through you know the phone <laughs> It was different, but we still able to see each other. That, that was how it mattered. At least I was still able to talk to them. Of course, my mom, uh, you know how your parents are. They, they, don't, they really don't understand. They, they be real sad about it and all that. But hey, sometimes you think I just gotta understand that everything is, you can't have it all the time, man. You can't, you can't, Way all the time. You know what I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need me some glasses, like really bad. And, you know, sometimes my, my eyesight get very blurry now. And because I know I'm getting older, you know, it's time for me to get some glasses. I hated glasses. Uh, you know, I just hated it. Well, I need to put my damn eyes on my kids. It's irritating my face. My shit. <laughs> damn, it's irritating my face, man. Yeah, uh, Filling in some blacks right here. You guys see that? Okay, I'm just making sure. One thing I like about doing traditional inking like this is it's fun because you get to change it up in the, var the variations of the lines and the, and, the, and, the, and the black fillings and stuff. You get to play around with it better. And, you know, as you penciling it, you know, as I was penciling this, you get to play around with it more with the ink. I think that's pretty cool. And, you know, it gives you a lot of it, it gives you a lot of like a like you know painting it's like a painting but you're inking and it gives you that it gives you that feel it's like a, it's like a 
stomach is almost like a pain. See, it's like, see what I just did there? Just add that texture. And it's just so fun to do, man. I really enjoy this stuff. Like, seriously. You get to, this the type of fun you get to do with it. It's like, you get to have fun. Uh -oh. See, I'm gonna mess up. I'm still learning how to do this the damn thing. Gotta learn, I still gotta learn how to how to make that chippy. Doing this, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm like all into this. Like seriously, I'm like all into this, man. look as possible and not trying to make it look too muscle you know what I mean like because you know I noticed like I study a lot and I see some people when they draw these werewolves and I study a lot of different type of artists I can't even pronounce any names because these are like French artists and stuff and um but like I said I study a lot of stuff where you 
be on the internet and stuff. You study these artists. And I notice how they make their fur and their muscle tone. It's just it's very interesting to me. And I was just like, like looking at that. So I'll be trying to do it. Hang of this with the with the fur now. I'm glad I did it like this. I get to play around with the different line weights of the the fur. I play a lot of Dave Finch too because his channel, his techniques and the things he teaches uh, really do help um, for you to be a better artist as well. It's like things he teaches you, you know you you try you you study that you know you add it I started notice I added that to my work a lot Oswald last doing this. Break at the moon. <laughs>
might do a short story of this, man. I, I swear, man. I might do a sh short story. Do a, 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 a anthology. You guys think that'd be cool? Get like an anthology of this. those who uh, I'm talking to you beginners out there you know because I know there's a lot of beginners that watch my channel you know when you, when you want to do this type of work you really got to be really ment mentally prepared for this because like I said it's lonely it's lonely it's a lonely process man you by yourself Drawing this by you doing this stuff alone, you know. It, you know, um, sometimes you might feel awkward because you just huddle in your room and you just drawing like this, like what I'm doing right now. And sometimes you will feel very weird doing this. You like, man, uh, call someone. You know, it's okay if you need to call someone. It's okay to do that. You need someone to talk to, you know. Uh, if you want to task and you can talk on the phone as you're doing this, more power to you. you know. I know um, I entertain myself by having the TV on usually at this time, or had a radio on, or talk radio, or you know, just just a type of art podcast, uh, raw observations. Anything to keep me occupied and busy, and not feel like I'm alone. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, you gotta you're gonna feel that, man. You're gonna you're gonna feel all that. You know, when you're doing this type of work. But just just letting you know, just I'm just uh just shooting you that message. You know, for me, it's fun to me. It's very relaxing. It relaxes my mind. You know, I can't speak for others. To me, this is like therapy. You know, and, uh, but it's fun therapy. Fun, all right? It's fun therapy. And uh, this relaxes me, man. This this type of stuff relaxes me. Like, like I said, I can't speak for other artists. I, you know, I, I'm not. Everybody's different.
<laughs> that's but that's fun. Now that's this. I'm being sarcastic. That is not fun, man. It just sucks. My allergies are really just it's just kicking in very bad. satisfied all the blessings I have gotten in my art career so far. Uh, I may not you know draw from Marvel comics and stuff like that but the love of it is that I was able to share with the universe my creations. I was able to do work for Rob Lightfield which is my which is one of my biggest Idol, comic book idol fans, I, that uh, man, that I, that I grew up loving all his work and stuff, and it's, that was a dream come true to do that because I was dreaming I wanted to work with Ron Lightfield, and that dream happened. It happened, and I'm forever grateful for it. And I look back at everything I'm doing now, I'm like, wow, I'm drawing comic books. I'm, I'm really doing it. Can't beat myself up, man. I, you know, I can't complain. You know, it, to me, it's not about people might say, well, it's about money. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody, you know, everybody works for money. You know, but uh, my passion for what I do, I love it. I love it regardless. I'm not seeing a cent. You know, at least, at least I'm, at least. I'm able to just enjoy this and not be miserable or complaining or jumping on social media and saying, I hate this, I hate what I do. And you can see that it's the love that I have. Boy. And I don't hate it. <laughs> I actually love it. face and I'm gonna this is not gonna be a very long video it's not gonna be a very long video I just want to show you guys that I was doing some work on this and you see the final process uh, when I update so, this, but this is not gonna be one of those long long ass videos it's just not <laughs> so we're now I'm using a, a 0 0.1 Pen liner. This is gonna be for the face. I had another one. Wait, no, you know what? I don't like to nib but that one. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the art line. This was a uh, graphics. I don't like how the pen liner was looking. It looked very chippy. I don't remember that's my eyesight. My eyesight messing with me. I don't know. But I don't like how that pen line tip looks. But this one is very sharp. I'm, see, you see that? So I'm going
detail with it. I wasn't able to do with the pencil. I'll do it with the pen liner. details that you couldn't do with the pencil with a little weight to it. Kicking in today, boy. Woo, Lord have mercy. Kicking in today, y'all.
got some money here, so I know I did. Mm. Gel pins. There's gel pins somewhere out here. Oh, there it is. There you go. <laughs> Fill it black in with the brush here. my black legs later. I just want to just give you guys a process video. I want ink inking video. Say process. Ink inking video. I mean ink in the upper part more than anything. Uh, excuse me guys. My allergies are just really messed with me today. Um, I guess I decided hey, we're going to just screw with him today while he's on. We're doing this on camera. <laughs> okay, 
stay with us sometimes, you know? how this has turned out. <laughs> I really am, y'all. I'm having so much fun doing this. It's like, like a, a experiment. Like, can't describe it, man. Just like the joy of getting out doing this. <clears throat> it's, it's something I never did before. I never did this before. I never, like, really drew a werewolf character. This really turned out.
be kicking his last little part of his leg. I mean, you guys see the rest of the cat. Uh, you guys see that? Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in for today's episode of Diverse Comics and Pop. Um, you guys seen me uh, ink some of this werewolf uh, picture I did. Um, I was, like I said, I, very, I, got, I started liking it so much that I don't even want to call this werewolf by night by Marv. I really don't. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I just want to take this and go make it my own. I think I'm going to make it my own character. I say I'm, uh, I might add a little scar stuff right here on his face or something. You know, um, but I, looking at this, I don't even want to call this a Marvel character. Uh, I want to. I, 
this time I just want to name my own man. I'm looking at this right now. So I'm looking at him like, I think I think I'm gonna make this my own. <laughs> I really am, y'all. Like this is what it is, you know. Um, but thank you for tuning in today, watching me ink this page so far. You know, um, I assure you guys, like I said, once I'm done with it, I can show you guys another video of the finished process so far. Um, also, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. This channel is growing uh, really fast, and um, I'm so thankful, thankful for you guys. Really, I'm seriously am. Thank you so much for just you know commenting on my videos, uh, if you're sharing it. Thank you. Likes and share is what's helping this video grow. And, uh, and shout out to you, new subscribers. We are at what five sixty eight or nine, something like that. The channel is growing. Thank you so much. Um, like once again, if you haven't, you know, you come you come across my 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 channel, give it a try. Look at it, man. If you know, what I'm saying it's all about, like I said, my channel is all about positivity. I'm just talking about artwork, my love for comic books, uh, toys, cartoons, stuff that I grew up on, including my shorts. Our shorts is the same way. Um, it's a little bit different, but it's the same way because I love comedy. I love to make people laugh. I love to share uh, my love for animation on there. Uh, my love for short video movies, uh, anime, cartoons, superhero cartoons, you name it. The pop culture is all on there on my shorts videos. If you just want to look at some shorts and have a good time, you can check out my shorts. It's all about fun, positivity, and just making people laugh. My videos are educational, helping you learn as an artist, um, sharing things that I love, um, shopping, me going on shopping sprees, uh, you know, going to Walmart, going to art stores, comic book stores. Um, my whole channel is about fun and the pop culture, man. It's about me sharing my work with you guys, sharing my love for what I love to do, and, uh, and for you guys to be a part of that. So thank you so much. And thank you for subscribing if you have. And um, continue to share the video. Thank you so much. Remnant, you guys have a blessed day. And once, uh, and once again, Diverse Comics. And pop! I'm not forgot to say, what is good in your hood? You guys take care. Keep drawing. Stay positive. Remnant, I'm out.